Wimbledon finals are by their very nature much anticipated, but seldom in recent years at least has a decider captured the imagination quite like this one. And so for Donegal and Mayo, it all came down to this. 70 minutes of gut-wrenching effort to make good on all the training and preparation. And what a start for the favourites. Carl Lacey supplying the ball, Michael Murphy doing the rest. Colin McFadden tapped over a close-range free before delivering another killer blow. And then, with less than 14 minutes gone, David Clark needed to produce a save to keep Mayo in this game. The Mayo response was a couple of frees, the pick of them from Kevin McLaughlin. But again, McFadden was their tormentor, restoring the margin to seven. Mayo eventually settled and started to get to grips with this game, and four unanswered points, including this from Michael Conroy, had them back to within three. But then the man of the half, Colin McFadden, landed another big score. But the last word would go to Enda Varley. His point meant Mayo trailed by three at the break. A couple of frees from either side came before this fine score from Frank McGlynn. And despite excellent passages of play, scores from frees became the order. Michael Murphy landing three to a couple from Mayo. And suddenly the gap was five. Murphy was just inches away from wrapping this game up. As it was, such was their stranglehold, Mayo could muster little in response. Points from Richie Feeney and this by Lee Keegan brought the margin back to four. But by this stage, they would have been the most unlikely of winners. And almost fittingly, Neil Gallagher, who'd had a massive game, closed out the scoring for Donegal. Jason Gibbons knocked over a Mayo point, and their best effort on goal came with time up. But there was no denying Donegal. They've made it two wins from two finals as Sam Maguire heads northwest. Justin Tracy, RTE News. Back down again, back to McFadden.